Hello fellow YouTubers and 16 scale figure collectors Like in the underworld with yet another video As mentioned in the previous video this one's going to be Tracker Tracker Predator from the movie Predators Excellent, excellent figure this um, I didn't know if they were going to make this one I wasn't sure if they were going to do it because uh, they brought out the other two the Berserker and the Falconer and there wasn't any really real mention of this and all of a sudden there he was which is great and the other added bonus to this figure um, is they released an accessory with him that I thought they might have released separately or released as an exclusive but they didn't they released him with it and it is of course the Tracker Hound great accessory probably one of the apart from the probably motorcycle from the um, Ghost Rider figure it's probably the best accessory that's come with any Hot Toys figure I'll get on to him in a minute I'll show you Tracker first figures all pre-assembled in the box all you have to add is the hands um, his wrist blades you have a choice of three of those and his tusks on his mask the bio mask does not come off um, would have been nice if it did but then it wouldn't be movie accurate if it did come off because uh, say never came off in the film very nice paint apps on this figure superb detail this is one of the new predator bodies that they've used articulation pretty good the joints are a little bit stiff but you have to expect that from a new figure when you take it out of the box um, the only problem you could have with bending the arms is apart from maybe a little bit of paint might chip off if you do it too often um, if it's really stiff and you force it there is a good chance that the joints will break um, so I try not to do it too much if I can help it um, got him in this great pose here where he's holding the hound but um, as I said in the previous video um, I'm going to be putting the hound back in the box because he just takes up too much room in the detolf um, if I take him out then I've got um, a spare space to put another figure so unfortunately I'm going to have to put him away in the box maybe he'll come out at a later date when I get more detolfs So I'll show you what he comes with. It has a light up feature, whereas his target is there on his helmet, does light up. But as mentioned before, I take all the batteries out uh, purely because I don't want them to leak. It's not a hot toys issue, it's just um, the batteries that are used in it. Uh, very cheap and they do leak so just a bit of advice to people out there if you've got Hot Toys figures with light up features um, I would advise taking the batteries out so nice detail on his minimal armour he's got there comes with several different hands it comes with these hands which are already um, that come in the box with the strapping already inserted it also comes with an aggressive open palmed hand a fisted hand pretty good paint apps on these he's got a fisted hand for the other side and also on the other side he's got a hand which I suppose you could use for holding something but uh, he doesn't come with any spears or anything like that to hold so it's just like a different type of um, sculpt they've done for this one so he comes with three different uh, wrist blades I don't think they're metal uh, they do feel metal but I not, don't think they are more of a really sort of hard and plastic you've got the large blade here is the smaller blade 
and I've got on him at the moment a medium sized blade so they just slip up nicely in there and they're quite tight so they won't fall out so on to the hound assembly is required uh, the body is all one piece the arms and the legs aren't articulated it is a pre-moulded figure so you can't move any of the arms and the legs and that on this figure um, also what you have to do is all these spines that are on this figure you have to put all these on yourself they're numbered so it is easy to put on some of them are a little bit tight in the holes um, so they can be a little bit of a pain to put in um, you have to force them in or maybe heat heat up the um, the figure just to loosen the holes so that they slip in nicely as you can see with this one here it's coming out um, it would have been nice if the jaw was articulated but just to get this with the figure is a big bonus you know, it was a bit of a surprise when they announced that they were actually bringing him out with the figure chain uh, I'm not 100% sure where it goes uh, I just see a lot of people have on YouTube of when they review these figures they've actually put it over that tusk there so that's what I've done also comes with this little rock um, that you just put his foot on that's not moulded onto his foot you can actually have it on or off nice little touch probably nice to go out and buy a couple more hounds to, to go with this but that you know you just you'd never be able to show it in a detail for a couple of hounds because this figure on its own uses up a whole space and a look at the biomask nice detail on the biomask there's uh, scratch marks there a bit of bowel damage dreads are rubberized and they hang down perfectly so you don't have to do any mods to those they hang down nice and easily He's also got his cannon, which you have to place on. And it does rotate if you want it to. There you go, you can have it in any position you want. There you go, it just fits straight in there. Nice and easy, nice and snug, nice and tight. So, nice paint apps very similar to um, Falconer's paint apps green sort of coloration he doesn't have um, detonator on this arm that's all molded, uh, sculpted so there's nothing there I don't think he didn't actually have one in the film either so it's movie accurate nice detail on his shin armour there it's all pre-molded on Just something a little bit different. Comes with his customary stand. It would have been nice um, if Hot Toys had done three separate bases for these figures so you could actually join the bases together to form a sort of diorama. A bit like McFarlane did with the two aliens that they. Uh, with, not with the two aliens. Um, McFarlane did a similar thing with the their Alien and Predator figures from the AVP movie. Um, you can actually join them together. Give a sort of little, little diorama. So it would be nice if Hot Toys had done that, just as an added bonus. I say not a lot of accessories, but when you've got that accessory, you can't ask for any more really. Superb Predator. Out of the three Super Preds, um, I'd say this is probably my uh, probably the second my second favourite out of the three. With Berserker being my favourite, then this one, then Falconer. Falconer is slightly taller, but I think that's just because of the bio mask. Slightly bigger, so that makes him look taller. 
very menacing look on this buyer mask. If you love the film and you haven't got any predators, then these three, which are still high, uh, readily available, not too badly priced at the moment, they haven't shot up too much. Um, great figures to have. This is probably the most expensive one to get purely because of the hound and the box is a lot bigger. See there's the box behind him. The others are slightly smaller boxes. And obviously the classic Predator which also comes from this film is the best Predator out of all of them. I will do uh, a video on him at some point in the future. So I'll give you a full view of the figure. Sorry about the light. It's another hot sunny day here in Kent. Another 30 degree. So it's a bit difficult to film. So the next video that I do will be my Predator 1 figure. And then when you see him, you can see the difference between the Predators now, how they're doing them now from how they used to do them. They've gone through three stages. The first stage was the figures that they bought out. You had to assemble them yourself, the whole lot. And the bodies weren't as well proportioned as these. And then you had the Predator 1 and the Guardian Predator came out with a similar type bodies. That was their next body phase and now they're making their predators like this a lot of people don't like it I think it's better the least amount you have to put on your figures the better in my opinion There's less chance of them breaking and, a whole, and obviously a lot less swearing there you go, track a predator feel free to leave comments now these videos seem a bit rushed, but I wanted to get quite a few done today. Because I probably might not do some for a week or two. So until my next video, it's Liking of the Underworld signing off. Feel free to subscribe. Catch you all later.